I think it's just brilliant that John and myself and both families have got together to create the foundation because it means that we can keep her spirit alive, we can keep the things that she stood for in life alive and bring that opportunity to other young people to say this is a way of life that you could embrace. Nobody's forcing it on you, but it is an option. Michaela lived her life very simply. She was very grounded in her faith. She was entwined in Irish culture and more than anything she wanted to have fun in life. Uh, so they are the kind of the main values that we are trying to espouse through the foundation. And it's just so right and fitting, I suppose, that the Ulster Council and the GEA at headquarters here, and all of the people who have weighed in behind this match, Michaela, have recognised that while she may not have played much football, her career ended very short, sharply because she broke her finger when she was about eleven. <laughs> I think that put her off football, but um, she still enjoyed the scene, enjoyed supporting, and obviously supporting me and Tyrone and, and Eric Gilkeen when I was in charge of their teams as well. So she was a big, big supporter, a supporter of mine. And I think this is maybe sort of a payback saying, you know, Michaela, you loved football. Um, you loved more than the match. You loved the scene around it. And so this is about more than a match. It's going to be a celebration of Michaela's life. It's going to be a showcase of what the Michaela Foundation has done so far uh, and what it hopes to do in the future. It'll also give us a chance to raise much needed proceeds to kind of expand our wings and to try to get our different camps in the different counties in Ireland and also further down the line we'll be thinking about a Michaela Centre so it's a big project and hopefully something that'll be really worthwhile. We're delighted that the Michaela Foundation has chosen uh, Cason Park for, for the game. Uh, we're fully supportive of it and uh, I'm very impressed with the rationale behind it and I think that the Foundation and both John and Mickey have a vision of what they want and uh, they're clearly setting about putting the steps in motion to realise that vision. We're very proud of them that they've come up with the suggestion, the idea of the Girls Summer Camp is just fantastic, the idea that they're trying to build self-esteem into young people is, is great as well and we just wish them the best with it. As a county and as a team we're absolutely delighted that we've been selected to you know, be part of it and. Uh, Hopefully now we'll get, the, we'll get the crowd out on the day that does the, does the occasion justice and hopefully we have a match that does the occasion justice as well. So I think as Mickey and Joe, that they want a fairly competitive match, so we'll try and, we'll try and not disappoint them in that. We in Ulster G are delighted to be involved with this event. But what I've seen so far, the amount of work that's been put into this and the people involved in organising it, I have absolutely no doubt that this will be a brilliant uh, event and a brilliant night. And I would encourage people to come along and support it, which will be, I think it's going to be a fantastic thing. And the GA calendar, uh, the like of probably hasn't seen before. They have said that they want this to be a keen, well-contested game and good entertainment for everybody who comes along.